Welcome to London in the year 1444. It is almost winter. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the Guild 3 with a Hall Dynasty. Uh, Rosalind is getting ready to, pro to propose to Ronald. I've been working on him a little bit here. That sounds kind of weird when I say it like that. Uh, but um, we are now proposing marriage. I thought he walked off. I think he's actually inside our, our building. And... Um, Apparently, he didn't show up, but uh, apparently back in 1444, you don't need to. Um, yeah, I, I hope he's part of the tree. Oh, wait. Are we being protected somewhere? Um, if she was. Well, she's knocked unconscious, so uh, that happened. But let's go back in the family tree. Oh, yeah. All right. So he's there. Um, they're going to go home. They're going to go home, I think. And uh, you know what they're going to do? Uh, let's just check her out. We'll give her charisma. So, at the end of the last episode, when I had a lot of idle people, and it was showing me the workers in the building, the reason why they were idle is because the transporter I accidentally clicked on was the transporter for that building. So, they were all idle because they had nothing to do. Um, but I got that squared away. So, uh, cast my vote for here. Well, geez, who am I going to vote for? Um, I got two votes. All right. So, there we go. Uh, we got that taken care of. So, yeah, we are now the mayor, um, the city uh, legislator. Uh, I think I'm running for captain right now, and I'm the only one running for captain. Um, yeah, we're, we're trying to take over the office, which gives us more influence. And speaking of influence, uh, we have enough to do the good thing of... Let's go ahead and just do it right now. We'll claim title. We'll wait. We'll wait until the year 1446. That, that was my whole thought process when, you know, we'll wait until we get to the winter of 1446 before we upgrade ourselves to become a lord. So now we're allowed to hire up to four henchmen. Um... We can uh, manipulate liaisons, which I'm not really... How do you manipulate them? Uh, I mean, okay. And ability to become uh, the queen or queen or whatever. King or king. King or king? king say it. King or queen. Uh, there we go. So we do have some idle people. Uh, do you, did you guys get home? Uh, you're almost home. You're, you're getting ready to be there. Um, you're in school. You're not old enough to do that. Um, I don't know where you are, but uh, I guess I'll just send you home. Um, your home and your home. So you go ahead and do that. Let's just make sure everyone has, everyone is out there that I possibly can have and getting us the influence. Um, yeah. So it's still I think it's still a thing that I kind of noticed. Oh uh, wow, Winnie is still going strong. Um, when they apply for office and get uh, elected or whatever, it seems like they stop going. Uh, they stop doing um, going out and praising how good people are, how good we are. Um, yeah, this dynasty here, I'm not too thrilled with you, so you can go to jail, uh, or I can vote for you to go to jail. Uh, this dynasty here, um, you attack them. You know, I'm going to go lenient on you. No, I think you're fine. Yeah, I don't think you need to go to jail. Uh, how about here? Oh, I like the people that you attack there. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, you know what? Go to jail. Um, we just became allies, not allies, but we're not in a feud with them anymore. But uh, we'll make sure that they have to spend some cash. And this dynasty here is driving me up the wall. So you can, hopefully you can go to jail. And this dynasty here... Oh, wow. You're just causing a whole bunch of problems here, aren't you? All right. So I think someone is, is expecting a baby, right? Yes. Uh, uh, okay, wait. Uh, nope. I need you. Where, where, where the heck are we here? Um, the same routine. At, once I can figure out where the heck I am. I got all twisted around here. Where where am I here? Wait, was I was I uh is he here? Nope. Uh where where <laughs> I have no idea where the heck I am. Wait a minute, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, here we are. Here is the town. We are over here. Alright. Now that I know where I am, kind of. Um you I got you selected. You come on over to our nice little shop here. So you can go inside and get yourself a weapon. Same thing with you, Ronald. Uh you come over here. And we'll send you inside to get yourself a weapon. So this dynasty here, let's click on this. Uh, what's this dynasty called? The Fitzgerald dynasty has been a real, you know, uh, has been a real hard nut to crack. Uh, I I need to, I need to do something about them. They're driving me insane. Um, you go in the building, and you go in the building. Now we go in the building, and Ronald has. A slate board, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but we're going to arm you with one of these. 
I'm going to arm you with one of those. Nope, that's not what I wanted to hit. I wanted to hit so you could exit. And then we'll go to your inventory. You grab that. What are you wearing? Anything interesting? No, nothing inter of interest. Uh, let's go back in here and get Ronald out of there. And then once he's outside, we'll give, give him a weapon. You are wearing 5 resistance, 10% when bargaining, and 3% intimidation. Uh, that's not... We'll just let you wear that. We'll let you go home. Uh, as for... Oh, where, I was like, where did she go? Uh, does this market have any clothing here that she could go over and buy? So in, instead of sending her way over to uh, Duck and Weave... Uh, they do have some clothing in here. Peasant's clothing, 10 armor, 3 resistance. You know, that's something. Uh, I was like, hopefully none of us are getting attacked here. Let's send her to the market, which is not far. Uh, wow, okay, I don't know what the screen was doing there. Um, there she is, okay. <laughs> Alright, 10 armor, 2 stealth, 3 resistance, but I think peasant's clothing, 10 armor, 3 resistance, and reputation bonus is... Well, guess what? Somebody came and bought the clothing in that short of a time. Oh, man. All right. Um, you know what, uh, uh, Rosalind? Uh, first off, exit that. And then... Uh, wait, where, where did I go? Here. Yeah, I'm losing uh, where we're at all already today. This is not good. We'll send you way over here. We'll send you to the house. Uh, no, not in our house, but duck and weave. To hopefully you can get some yourself some clothing here. All right, who is in here that needs to go out and praise how good we are? Uh, nope. And Rosalind and Leanne are here. So you go out and praise how good we are. Uh, I need the influence. Well, we're up to 3,500 influence. All right, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, I think what I'll do while here before I forget, the house is looking a little uh, ish, uh, you know, halfway down. So $509 or money to go ahead and repair that. That's not bad at all. Um, I probably should check on this business here. Pew 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 is doing not too bad as well. So I do got some influence to spend. I think we're going to spend it. Um, let's dive on over here. There's a few things I would like to spend it on. So 5% uh, 5 plus 5 charisma. Let's go ahead and get that. That's going to definitely help us out getting um, more influence. And there was something here I was looking at. Intimidation's not bad. Reputation bonus. Uh, plus 50 health. Minus two reputation. Uh, getting the health would not be bad. We're getting in a lot of fights, so the 50 health is definitely going to make us do um, a lot more. What is this? Intimidation, I said. Uh, reputation. I think the 50 health is something I should go ahead and do. This gives us uh, plus two in bargaining. Uh, how much influence I got? Not much. Uh, not much at all. Let's go get the 50 health and minus two reputation bonus. That's fine. Um, by getting a stat... I had no problem with that. I think her reputation is doing rather well. The other thing I was looking at before I started recording. Oh, I got evidence on this, on these people. Heck yeah. Lodge a complaint. You betcha. Uh, while I'm here, uh, complaints against anyone else. No. So, uh, where, where was I here? Uh, where what was I looking here? Winning points. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but, uh, right now we're winning. Actually, in the last let's play with the Lepew Dynasty, I was not doing well at all. This let's play, I started out looks like kind of slow, and now it's like we're I, we're way ahead of everyone. Makes no sense whatsoever. So the one thing I thought about, a feud has been declared against us. Uh, from who? This dynasty. I, I thought we were doing good with this dynasty. What's the deal here? Is it because I sent one of your guys to jail or something? Well, you know, you shouldn't be uh, committing crimes and whatnot. So I got three hench people just sitting around doing nothing. Uh, but we're, gonna, we're about to change that. So we're going to grab this uh, lady right here who's 39. And wait, am I being attacked somewhere? Oh, that's a feud. I saw the battle axe, uh, battle swords. I thought, I thought, uh, yeah, okay. Um, I am out of my henchwoman. All right. I want you to go out and attack. And we're going to go in here. And this dynasty right here, I had enough of this dynasty. I know she's 64. She's... Uh, She's inside of a building. Well, then you know what? This guy right here, go attack him. I had enough of this crap. Uh, what are you doing? You're just sitting outside of the house. Uh, shouldn't you be praising how good we are? Why don't you go home, Udolf? Uh, 
Orlina is in here as well. What is Orlina doing in here? Alright, so Udolf has gone out. And we need the in influence, people. Who is Orlina Hall? She says she's... Okay, so she's not now. She's out doing what she needs to be doing. All right, so we're at feud against a lot of people. Oh, wow. Look at all the stuff I got to vote for. Um, I'll speed time speed down to half just in case something happens. Uh, verdict. Um, I don't know much about this dynasty. I'm going to be nice on this one. Money, not jail time. Um, this dynasty or pickpocketing. You know what? We're in a feud with you, I think. So enough of that. Um, right there should be good. Hmm, we're in a few with both of these dynasties, so we'll just go with whatever the city seems to think we should be doing. Uh, breaking Bones. Yeah, let's go to there. Uh, why Set Free? No, we'll... Don't usually see that too often. And of course a family member is under attack here. Let's do this quickly. Uh, not read what's going on. Oh yeah, you attacked me, so you can go to jail. That was against me, and... Uh, you attacked yourself, which seems kind of weird. Alright, let's get rid of that, get rid of that. Where are we going here? Bernadette. So we got more health now, so that's going to help us out against the hen... And the henchwoman is about to go down. Can I... Is she going to go back doing what she was doing? Yeah, she's going to go back doing what she's doing. I thought about maybe robbing her or something, the henchwoman, but the henchwoman, how much money can she have? Good question, right? I don't know either. Um, yeah, so I, I, how do I get back on my hench women that were attacking? The one that was attacking someone, how do I... Yeah, I, I don't know how you get back on your on your workers, hench women, what have you. Uh, you are wearing something. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. Uh, Winnie. Uh, Winnie leveled up, apparently, right? I have a point to spend. Um... We'll give you dexterity. What's this for? Do I have evidence on someone? I do. Let's use it. Because it is against me. I'll lodge a complaint. Uh, no complaint there. I mean, no evidence there. So the thing is, I don't know if my henchwoman... I mean, there's got to be a way to see... Winnie, did I not give you a point? Alright, I'm not sure. I thought I did. Unless she uh, level up twice really quick. Is there a way... There's got to be a way to see your workers, right? Buildings. That's buildings. Those are the other buildings. Those are all the... Hmm. Characters. I mean, there's going to be a lot of characters. Events. Show idle characters, main menu. I don't want the main menu. I wish they had a button here for your hench people so you can go around and see what they want. Man, we got a lot of cash here. Is there a way I can spend cash? Uh, yes, we can. Um, this Might as well, might as well uh, get some of this stuff. Uh, Juliana is uh, welcome to the family. This gives us a chance to do vandalism. I mean, I'll, I'll spend the money there to do it. Uh, one stealth. And another piece of stealth. Uh, what does stealth actually give us on a character? Hang on a second. Let's. Uh, we'll click on Winnie because um, she's still here. Um, stealth. Uh, stealth is used when a character is planning someone's something devious and has to sneak up on a target. So, I mean, it doesn't really help us out unless we're. It'll help out our henchwomen, maybe. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was spending cash. That's, that's what we're doing. We're spending cash, uh, which is this button here. So, um, yeah, any other businesses? I can't open up any other business. We're full on businesses. No, I don't want to do that. That didn't pay off well for us. I, I guess I could open up a farm in the future, but um, it kind of sucks. Like I said, like the warehouse and storage building count as a business. If it didn't, I would love to be doing that and, and uh, getting all of our, making our own stuff. So basically what I would have to do, and I should, I think we'll be doing it here in a while, is, uh, where am I? Uh, I'm at the house here. Okay, while I'm at the house, 
Yeah, I think uh, one we might need to be thinking of getting a bigger house. Uh, so we got two kids. Uh, Julianne's not old enough. So yeah, everyone that's home. You're nine. You should be in school. You are. You're four. You're five. I can send you off to school now. Uh, where is it? Uh, right here. Off to school you go. Yeah, so we're pretty much all set here. So everyone else, everyone is out getting this influence. I'm surprised that Winnie is 65 years old. That is, that's pretty darn good for back in the 1400s for sure. Um, where, where's my hench? All right, so I don't know if she attacked who she was supposed to attack. Although she is not fully healthy, so maybe she has. Um, Finally, you are angry with one of your competitors. And Again, have to quickly uh, let off steam, then just head over to one of your competitors' buildings to smear it with paint. This will reduce the customer satisfaction of the building. All right, we can spy in a building, uh, find evidence, and eliminate someone. Uh, the problem is that is illegal in London. I mean, my henchwoman would probably go to prison, and then I could just hire another one, right? Uh, but it does cost 10000 which is kind of expensive, but, you know, money is not too much of an issue. Uh, let's go ahead and we will go in here. Can I attack her now? Nope. Nope. Uh, if I go to family tree, they are marrying into other dynasties for sure. Um, he's married. Her. Let's go attack him just because. And if we follow her along. We'll see what happens. Uh, the thing is, if he goes inside of a building before she gets there, then uh, that's no, no good. So this is where probably with a speed, uh, when I can buy with influence, uh, like when I get like 5% speed or plus 5 speed, uh, this will help us out a little bit so she can get there faster. And now we're in the spring of 1448. So, yeah, now we're just, we need a lot of influence to become a baron. Once we become a baron, we can definitely upgrade a lot of buildings to uh, be top-notch. Is this where you're going right here? Uh, right next to a guard. That's not... All right, so... There's a guard there. All right, now I'm attacking him. He just lost 72 health. I lost 15. Uh, I'm under attack somewhere else. Uh, she is beating the living daylights out of this guy. And I think she got done before the city guard even noticed her. Uh, we are under attack somewhere. It is Udolf. He's got pl plenty of good health and she is unconscious. Uh, way to go, dude. Way to go. Yeah, this dynasty right here, the Antelope Dynasty, what are they called again? Fitzgerald. Yeah, the Fitzgerald Dynasty. I'm not uh, not too pleased with them right now. Uh, who's the idle person? No, you're in school. Um, someone at home. It's got to be another kid. All right, let's send you back out. And since you're you're getting to be so good at this. Anyone in that anyone in that dynasty with the, with the antelope on it, I was just gonna be just like, you know what, uh, the Fitzgerald dynasty or whatever they're called. I'll be like, yep, just attack them. Is she outside? No, he's not outside either. Um, you know, you can't attack the kids. That's not that's not what you want to do. <laughs> I hope you can't attack the kids. Uh, yeah, they're marrying into other dynasties. He's passed away. I would like to attack these two, but these two are hiding. Um, he's 45, not married, so I don't think he's not going to have any. Did you get back up? Uh, apparently, you're not going to do anything now, right? All right, uh, let's do some voting here. Uh, cast your vote. Um, nope, I'm not going to vote for, for, for any of you. Don't like you. Uh, let's come down here. Cast your vote. Um, we'll vote for this one. Just because. Cast your vote. Uh, some name named Benjamin. Uh, yep, we'll vote for him because we're in a feud with them. 
Uh, verdict. Verdict says uh, somewhere there. I wonder if I get like influence for doing voting and such like this. I mean, I know I get influence for being in office alone, but... It can take a little bit of time here to do this, but uh, I'm at normal speed again. This game, stop doing that to me. Uh, okay, you're not doing nothing for some reason. You go home. Uh, you're 10 years old. Uh, I think you were in school. You must be done, so you know what? Why don't you go home? No sense of sitting there. Uh, let's give you intelligence. That leaves five people. Uh, you're five years old, so you should be able to go to school. Calvin, uh, okay, you go home. And then, of course, I got my hench people. Whoa, eliminate people. Um, no, I can find evidence. Let's go see if I can find evidence around... I probably should bring her back towards home. What I want to do is, you know, come try to find evidence right here. See if I can find evidence right against uh, these, them right there. Uh, where are my other two hench people? Let's see if you can find evidence as well. Where is that dynasty's... Well, there's, they have another building here, so let's go, let's go here. And my other hench person... You're, you're right around our house, right? Uh, yes you are. So right now, you're just gonna stand on guard. Where's that one? Right here. How about that? And while I'm here, someone level up. Intelligence you get. All right, uh, what's going on here? Um, you're in school. You're in school. Let's make sure everyone's getting influence. Now, I'm thinking about uh, this guy right here. A member of your family has died. Who died? Okay, it wasn't wasn't uh, Winnie. She's still, <laughs> she's still kicking. It was... Oh, and you can't click on them either. After they die, you can't click on them. I'm sorry, I don't remember her name. I guess I can go in, uh, in this in the uh, messages and see what her name was. Uh, yeah, so in the meanwhile, I was thinking about taking one of these and sending them on a long trip journey. On a long trade journey, sorry, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, I'm just trying to see if everyone's doing something. So this guy right here. Uh, no, it's not what I want to do. Long distance journey is what I think it's called. Uh, that's just a thousand, that's three thousand, that's two thousand. How about oil? Not bribe of an official, official uh, oil the wheels of bureaucracy. That's 3,800. Does cost me 20,000, but I do have the cash. And where can I go to do this? I think it's gotta be in the city, right? Yeah, we'll send them right over here, 100% chance, 20,000, but it'll give me 3,000 influence. And because the reason is we need 15,000 influence to become a baron. And once I become a baron, I can unlock a lot more um, to expand my businesses. And plus, we also get to open up another business. That does remind me, though, I can also hire another hench person as well. So I should probably do that just to have them, have them on board. And I can start getting ready to maybe hire a henchman, confirm. Uh, where are you, Sir, do I actually have a henchman? Yes, I do. Galvin, uh, he's 15 years old. So let's send him over to our businesses. Hopefully we have like long swords and stuff like that. And Rosalind, what are you doing? You're not doing anything. Oh, I sent you over here to get a dress. Uh, that's right, or, or an outfit. Um, what do we have in here for you? Absolutely nothing. I cannot make clothes fast enough. I probably got armor in here. 250 armor, you lose a little defense, but five plus uh, plus five intimidation. That's that's a lot. Um, 
All right, so I'm selling clothes. Is this market? I must be selling clothes at this market. They must have something. All right, we'll send her to the market here because my store doesn't have nothing. I don't want George. I want, I want her. And as she slowly goes... I kind of forgot I sent her, sent her over here. Uh, free citizen's garb. Um, five reputation, five percent for charisma. That's pretty darn good. Reputation bonus, ability to learn, ability to gain influence. Uh, let's grab that. Confirm. It's a little expensive, but uh, that's not a problem. And apparently she is ill. Uh, that's not good. And we'll send you back to the market. And then you can sell this for nothing, probably. Um, how long are you ill for? She's got the flea, flea plague. Um, go home. Hopefully, uh, by the time you get home, you won't have it. All right. Uh, is everything going well here? So I think with the fourth generation of the Hall Dynasty, I think when these kids get married, we'll have, like, uh, multiple kids. Uh, we've been kind of staying with this single, single kids for the parents. I think it's time now that I'm getting a hold of things a little bit to get more. Because we're getting a lot more influence. So I think it's time to maybe uh, double up on the kids and get more influence. And uh, and also do this as well. Make sure all my workers are leveled up nicely. Uh, so playing two years per turn is a lot better because employees are not dying. So um, I'm getting the XP at the same rate. So they're leveling up more than they were before, if that makes any sense. Uh, so, yeah, they're producing a lot better. Uh, speaking of, I, I should check on the hospital. You need intelligence. You need, well, didn't matter, dexterity or intelligence. And you're the transporter, so it's charisma and intelligence, right? Yeah, charisma and intelligence. We'll give you that. All right, so let's just dive right back in here. No, nope, not there. That's the wrong one. Uh, dive right back in here and... Zip on over here. One charisma, five productivity, 10% productivity. That's pretty good for only 1,800. Uh, plus five speed for only 500 influence. Let's get that so our, our, our uh, people can run around more. Only 500 influence to get 2% more, uh, plus two on bargaining. That's going to help us out. Uh, sell and buy cheaper. Um... Intimidation, I probably don't really need that. Reputation bonus, do I really need that right now? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, I mean, I know I just bought a few things here, but let's save up on the influence so I can become a baron. Uh, that way I can expand our businesses, earn more cash. Uh, the cash is not a problem. It's the influence that's really um, digging into it. But uh, I got some success right here. We sent uh, Roland over here, Remmer to get some, uh, what was he, Oil the Wheels of Bureaucracy. He got 4,800 and this told me I should have got oh wait, where is that one? I should have got uh, 3,800, but with all the bonuses, I actually got 4,800. Um, so I should take like another family member. How long is a cooldown that does that have? A little bit. Uh, bribe an official. Church donation. Um, send someone a long distance journey. You can send someone to your adult family members a long distance journey. Um, he is 23. Let's go ahead and send him a long distance journey. And this did not fare well for me on the first let's play through. So let's send him on a long distance journey and see how he does. He's 23. He should uh, do more than well enough and get back uh, before I was sending the older generation. And uh, they were... Why did I just lose a whole bunch of productivity and everything? Your reputation has diminished. Uh, why is that? With the inhabitants of London is now hostile. Why, why did I go hostile? It's a good question, huh? Alright, you don't have a weapon and you just, like, bitch slap me. So, you're losing 31 health, I lose 12. What are you wearing to where you're not getting, like... 10 armor, 3 plus 3, one, and 2 resistance. I mean, you should have uh, better defense than that. 
Um, I like to know why it became hostile, though. Is it because I oiled the wheels of bureaucracy and they kind of knew about it? Good question, isn't it? I, I have no idea why. Uh, I, I got five idle people. Who is idle in here? Anyone? Anyone? Uh, Calvin, uh, you go on out and praise how good we are to bring in influence and everyone else is fine. Uh, I got four henchmen. Speaking of henchmen, he should be over there by now. Um, this young, this young lad. Let's bring him over here so he can go inside the building and get that wonderful armor that we have. So in order to find my henchmen, I think if I just go to... Um, the house, I'll be able to find them there, I think. I'm just noticing, like, all my henchmen are actually inside the house, so I can click on them from there and get to them. Uh, that might be easier. All right, sir, uh, you can take one of these. 250 armor, that's darn good. No, just one will be good. Um, who's making the weapons, the long sword? Well, I should be making them, but I don't have any here, so... Uh, you go ahead and exit. And you go ahead and put that on. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you... Wait a minute, what do you have over here? Uh, nothing that I need. Uh, let's click back on you. We'll send you to the market. And we'll see if we can get you a... Ooh, ooh, does the market have anything good for weapons? Um, iron bracers, 10 armor... One armor, one defense. Uh, handgun. Do you have long swords? You do. So we'll buy a long sword. I, either, I might be selling them. I don't know. Uh, so he's in here. First off, you can sell that. Confirm. Uh, just take one of those. And also, if I get him a shield, does that... Uh, he loses attack. Is Iron Bracers, where does that actually go? Does that go on his arm, or where does that go? Uh, we'll, we'll find out here. Let's get one. I think I did this before, and I found out the hard way that it, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, exit the market, and then we'll click on you. Of course, we'll give you a sword, and this goes... Okay, it goes there as well. Um, yeah, you're pretty well set for now, aren't you? What can we have you do? I'd like to have you attack someone. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, um, Caroline, uh, she's not an adult character, that's fine. Alina, is she being attacked already? And she's already in a fight, so let's not, I, I probably won't be able to attack her. Oh, wait a minute. Joseph, no, Josephine's a, as a child. Don't want to, don't want to be doing that. All right, so I cannot find. I'll, I'll find one of them somewhere. Well, I'm sorry, or... Orlanthia? You're the, you're, the, you're the chosen one. Um, and good luck, because he's got plenty of armor and a decent weapon to go with him. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, verdict for you, sir. We'll put you there. And a verdict for you. We shall put you there. Uh, well, yeah, sorry. It looks like you're going to jail. Pay up. The, this is the problem with the, uh, the, in the first let's play. I didn't have many verdicts and all that stuff to deal with. Uh, but it looks like more and more people are going or getting caught, um, I should say. So I have more voting to do. Oh, you attack them. I, I really don't care too much. Um, so now... We should be able to run for king or queen when that position becomes available. So eventually... I can probably change the laws. I might be able to change the laws now. Can I do that now? Um, social activities. 
Can I banish an individual? Uh, write a letter of recommendation. Send to the court of the monarchs. Cost 64,000. I would get 8,000 influence for doing that. Wow. Uh, I would spend all my money, which is not a problem, but it would give me a lot of influence to become a baron. And it wouldn't take me long, I don't think, to get the $80,000 in money back. Uh, crap, I forgot. Where's my henchwoman? And we were attacking... Wait, did we attack her? Uh, yes we did, because there she is. She's knocked unconscious. Way to go, dude. Um... Oh, no. Guess what, dude? You're next. Uh-oh, this is not good. I did it right in front of a guard. 85 health. I blocked. Another city guard. Uh-oh, now I'm getting attacked. Now, the thing is, if I knock him out... Don't attack the guard. Uh, what happens when he, if he takes down a guard? I can't. I can't click on the, the guard. Is almost out. The guard is knocked unconscious. He's got plenty of health left. Um, I got a funny feeling this guy might be going to prison for attacking all the guards. Um, well, here comes another guard. Alright, so he, he took down two guards. <laughs> oh, way to go, Galvin. Way to go. And I think that's where we got to wrap up today's episode, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching, as always. And I'll catch you next, right here next time in London with the Hall of Dynasty. And the guild three. But until then, have a good one. Galvin is a hero. He's a gladiator. <laughs>